I'm Di. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for joining me. Today we're in the kitchen and we're going to be making something, seeing that it's mid-November at the moment, we're going to be making something that's Christmas themed. So we're going to be making a pineapple fruitcake and that's why I've got my pineapple apron on. So let's have a look at the ingredients that we're going to be using today. This is a very, very moist Christmas cake, easy to make, but we make it in two stages. So we're going to be uh, boiling the fruit and leaving it overnight and that'll plump it right up and then tomorrow we'll finish off by adding the flour and the eggs and the spices and cooking it, cooking it in the oven. So let's have a look first at what we're going to be the ingredients that we're going to be using today. We won't be looking at all the ingredients um, just what we're going to be boiling today. Okay here are the ingredients that we're going to be using today and just like normal I'm doubling the recipe but today I'm doubling it because I didn't realize it only takes 500 grams of mixed dried fruit and I've got a kilo packet there and I don't generally use mixed dried fruit a lot in my cooking so rather than having it sitting in the cupboard I generally just buy what I need and use it so I'll make two and it will they'll never go astray the other thing is this can be frozen this cake so what we've got there is 310 grams. I've used margarine, wanting to keep the cost down a little bit. Butter is becoming very expensive. Uh, if I had have used the butter, I probably would have been up for about seven, eight dollars worth of butter. So margarine's the go. <laughs> okay, so there we've got a kilo of dried fruit. I've got two cups of brown sugar, two packets of cherries. They are, I think, Oh, they're 200 grams and then we've got crushed pineapple in syrup we're going to use everything the pineapple and the syrup in this so let's get going so this recipe is just as simple as adding everything to the saucepan and then bringing it to the boil so get our pineapple in there Margarine. And the brown sugar. Okay so the next thing I'm going to be doing I'm going to mix all that in then I'm going to pop it onto the stove and bring it to the boil. Once it's uh, boiling I'm just going to check the recipe. Yeah you simmer it for five minutes stirring it occasionally then I'll just leave the lid on leave it just sitting there to cool once it's cool, I'll pop it in the fridge and then I'll come back to it tomorrow. Okay, we're back and it's the next day. So that's been sitting in the fridge overnight. And now I've got the rest of the ingredients ready. So as I said, I'm doubling the recipe. So I've got four eggs there, which I need to beat. I've got flour. Now we need one cup of plain flour and one and a quarter cups of self-raising flour which I've doubled because I've doubled the recipe and we also need a quarter of a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda and we need a quarter of a teaspoon of mixed spice. I've put extra mixed spice in it, I like that um, in my Christmas cakes. So um, and then I've got some tins here, some foil tins and some oil some spray oil so i'm going to spray those tins i don't know how many i'll make i do think i'll make the three but it just makes it easy if you're giving it out to leave it actually in a foil tin so 
I'm just going to sift all this flour and get that in and where I've got lumps I'll just push those through There we go. And we'll get the eggs. I'll beat those and put them in. And the recipe will be in the description below the video. Okay. There we go with the eggs. We just need to mix all that together. slowly coming together there. And while I'm doing this, I've got my oven heating. Uh, so I've got it heating to 160 degrees fan forced. That's 160 degrees Celsius. Right, so I'll just spray a little bit of oil into these pans. Now I did hear a good um, trick, if you're using the um, aerosol spray rather than um, one of these, um, it does tend to go everywhere. And one of the tricks that I heard once was to open your dishwasher, put it on the, um, the front panel of your dishwasher when it's open, do your spraying there because then any excess, once you run the dishwasher, it washes it away. So I thought that was a pretty good tip, but this one's pretty direct and you don't get a lot of overspray. So, just a few bits of fruit there popped out. So let's just put it into our containers. There's a bit of flour that wasn't mixed in there. So we're back to mixing again. Because I've got so much in here, it's a bit hard to mix it all. So that's how I mix, missed that. And there's a little bit more down there. So just make sure we mix it all there. There's one done. There's two.
is the third one done. So we'll just get them all on a tray and into the oven. Let's see, will they fit on this tray? I don't know. Yeah, that'll do. I've got them all on the tray and we'll get them into the oven. There we go, they're all in the oven and that will take an hour to an hour and a quarter. Okay, there you have it, they're fresh out the oven. And I'm just testing them with a skewer to make sure that it come, comes out clean and dry. 